नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट रियली मेक्स यू मैग्नेटिक सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट स्टार्ट विथ इज इंटेंशन यूर इंटेंशन फॉर मैनिफेस्टिंग समथिंग फॉर अट्रैक्टिंग समथिंग इज द कोर थिंग दैट डिसाइड्स योर वाइब्रेशन दैट डिसाइड्स हाउ फास्ट यू विल मैनिफेस्ट इफ योर इंटेंशन आर कमिंग from the hive mind energy of the matrix then your energy will become really dense it will not be light your vibrational frequency will be operating at a lower density it will not be fluid it will not be spontaneous the higher the density the more you have to force things to happen so your intentions are directly connected to your vibrational frequency and a lot of times whatever the people are trying to manifest whatever they are trying to become a magnet for the intentions are not coming from a good place sometimes people want to show off to the world whatever they are trying to manifest it's connected to their social status self image ego so the more you are trying to strengthen that ego the more you are trying to work on that social status you are still in the race of the matrix and the density you are tapping into your vibrational frequency will be of the matrix which is not spontaneous which is not light which is not fluid it is not like water it is rigid it is forceful that's why the opposite will happen everything that you will try to do you will get stuck in it you will keep creating traps for yourself just like a spider it weaves the web and falls into its own trap that's the reality ultimately people end up creating in the name of manifestation so is this really being magnetic you are losing your freedom you're losing your soul so is this really being magnetic or is this being under the control under the influence of the matrix so you have to get out of this race of this illusion that the matrix wants you to live in and you have to understand that your intentions are something which is very intrinsic they should come from within you from your true authentic self when you're part of the race when you're part of the herd your intentions are not really yours it's like you are running in an autopilot mode and whatever you end up manifesting it will be like everyone else it will be the things that everyone else is also manifesting because that's how the social status is decided if one particular thing is there and everyone is running after it and if people are achieving that then it is said that they have achieved success they have achieved the social status but we all are different maybe you don't even want that maybe that thing that is on the pedestal has nothing to do with your authentic self maybe after acquiring it you will not be able to appreciate it it will just lie around and you will not even use it people are running after materialistic things they don't even want they don't even need so is magnetism being magnetic all about being able to fulfill the social status or is it about attracting the things that align with you attracting the things in a way where you are not losing yourself losing your freedom you are not falling under the trap and everything is coming to you effortlessly because it aligns with you you are not in the race with everyone else that they have that thing i want it to the exact same thing we are not made this way we are programmed this way to run in this race and that makes us lose our individuality that makes us lose our magnetism a magnetic person is not someone who runs in a race they create their own lane they are the awake ones in the masses that's what being magnetic is really about so this is a really great time to set your intentions clearly whatever you want whatever you want to manifest whatever you want to attract what's your intention for it are you doing it because everyone else is doing it because you will become superior in the eyes of others you will become successful in the eyes of others or is it something that you really want is it something that really connects with you and if it is the case send out that intention send out that frequency just hold that energy and feel that you already embody it and that's the thing if it is something very authentic to you the thing is something which aligns with you embodying it while not having it will make sense you will feel that it's already here it will be easier for you but when the thing is not at all aligned with you you will not be able to embody it it will feel false because it does not align with you it doesn't go with your spirit it doesn't go with your authentic self 
you are forcing yourself you are putting pressure on yourself to do something that you really don't want it is just a story that you have bought into so reframe your intention become clear on what you want and why you want do you want it for yourself or do you want it because others want you to have it and that's how you get their validation question that question where you are coming from it sets you apart from the masses the next thing that really makes you magnetic is detachment once you have set that intention out once you are acting on it you are giving your best now the thing is detachment detaching from the outcome the truth is that we are always in this present moment that's why embodying whatever you want embodying that intention is very important because there is no such thing as future there is no such thing as manifesting in the future everything that you are manifesting you are manifesting in the now present moment this eternal present moment it's always present moment so you have to set that intention out in the present and at the same time you have to be detached in the present moment while the process is unfolding while things are manifesting for you while things are unraveling for you can you be patient in that unfolding can you remain detached and that makes you magnetic the more attached you are to the outcome you are creating dense energy again you are vibrating at the frequency of fear of greed of obsession the more you do that the thing goes away from you and the more you let go and you do your own thing you become detached start enjoying life moment to moment you do whatever is in front of you you are present in your life you are not obsessing over something the more faster it comes to you so everything is energy you have to understand this and when you are attached to things to people they just push you away these things don't want to come your way but when you free yourself from that through detachment it all comes to you that's why the saying don't chase attract because when you are not chasing you're detached so practice detachment and one of the great ways to practice detachment is understanding the art of meditation mindfulness observing your mind that is detachment observing your thoughts and not seeing them as reality you are not your thoughts can you grasp that concept that you are awareness watching the thoughts come and go have you ever experienced that that is the key of detachment that you are able to watch everything come and go and that's the truth things come and go but you remain the consciousness remains the same desires come and go thoughts come and go people come and go but you remain and i am not talking about the ego your physical identification with the human vessel i am talking about the higher consciousness in you the pure awareness it remains the same it never comes and goes so can you grasp that energy of that higher consciousness the consciousness that you are the spiritual being that is having the human experience is pure consciousness so it becomes really easy for you to detach when you have that experience of meditation of mindfulness and it also helps you in life as well because there are many things that require you to be detached and it helps you to live a life of fulfillment of grace because you are not trying to control everything all the time the ego is a control freak you start to flow you're not always fighting with life you're not always saying give me this right now you have a surrender within your being that surrendering comes from this understanding that everything is temporary detach and that's how you surrender to the universe that's how you surrender your own ego your control freak nature to the universe and that surrendering will give you a power that a person who has immense ego they don't have that power there's a great quote by lao tzu that the whole universe surrenders to the mind that is still my understanding of it is when you are calm when your mind is still you have a power that is greater than the biggest egos in this world and they can't grasp that power they can't understand that power the power that they seek is of the physical realm power over people which corrupts them ultimately which corrupts their energy because any human can't handle the power that comes from the matrix that comes from the ego driven hive mind energy so true power is in surrendering is in letting go of your ego and connecting with your own higher self you can't make other egos understand this power because they will not understand it in fact they will misunderstand it 
they will not even grasp this concept that how can you become powerful by letting go of your own ego how can everything happen to you when you're not trying to make anything happen so flow with life detach don't be a control freak don't obsess over things lighten up your energy don't be in that dense frequency as you lighten up your energy you raise your vibrational frequency and as you do that automatically the things that are supposed to come your way they come your way the next and final thing that really makes you magnetic is choosing your self when you become truly magnetic you don't just attract the things that you really want you also attract people and things that you don't want the people who always want to take advantage of you the people who want to extract something out of you they will also be attracted to you and you will also piss off people because the light you will carry the magnetism that you will have it will piss the people off who are still stuck in their ways in the ways of their ego and they will not be able to understand that why you are able to attract everything effortlessly they will just be jealous of you and maybe they will talk shit about you maybe they will talk behind your back try to ruin your image but you have to understand that they don't define you and you have to have healthy boundaries with such people that's why i said choosing yourself choosing yourself over the people of the past over the people that are going to come to you for taking advantage so when you become magnetic your boundaries need to be really strong it's very important and choosing yourself is directly connected to self love when you choose yourself you are breaking the cycle of self neglect self sacrifice you are breaking all the cycles of generational curses because choosing yourself is all about recognizing your worth that i am worthy of choosing myself i am worthy of everything that i deserve i deserve everything i deserve the best and so i choose myself but the people that are getting pissed off will tell you that no you are breaking out of the roles that we have given you we have given you the role of a people pleaser we have given you the role of a self sacrificer of the person who always put themselves down but the moment you break that they will not like that that's why it's easy to be a people pleaser in this world and those people who are coming to take from you they know that so being magnetic is also about choosing yourself always not being controlled by other people's opinions not being controlled by what other people are saying about you not being controlled by the people pleaser in you this is a huge thing that people pleasing program will make you do things that you don't really want to do you will not be able to say no you're always saying yes to the things that you don't really want to do your no to others is a yes to yourself understand this deeply so your no needs to be really strong choose yourself that makes you magnetic that attracts the things that are not based in self sacrifice a self sacrificing person a self neglecting person will never become magnetic because their energy is being siphoned extracted by others they are not really themselves and it creates trauma bond relationships it creates relationships where you are not honored so how will you ever attract a relationship where the other person sees value in you where the other person respects you they see you and they see that you are worthy so you have to believe that you are worthy you have to know your worth you have to realize that there is power in choosing yourself stand up for yourself break these patterns of people pleasing and self sacrifice and don't be afraid of conflict when you choose yourself there is conflict all these people will try to tell you that you are doing the wrong thing they will gaslight you so you have to stand up for yourself and standing up means there is going to be conflict the other person is going to say something that you are not going to agree with but the people pleaser in you will want to just ignore that let it slide but the thing is the more you ignore it the more it will happen again it's going to happen again and again and again so you have to end that cycle by speaking up for yourself by going into that conflict don't be afraid of that conflict peace begins with chaos chaos means standing up for yourself cutting people off cutting ties with the people who always suck your energy up no one talks about this part of becoming magnetic that you have to shake things up that you have to cut people off that you have to make people uncomfortable because they are 
making you uncomfortable all the time they are draining you all the time and they are always comfortable with that it's time to stand up and say no to them and say yes to yourself i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment share you can also support my work by hitting the thanks button and please make sure to subscribe see you in the next video much love to you all